down our contact paper. Now, we don't have a laminator, but if you have a laminator, you could use that. You could use that, and you would have to do the whole contact paper thing. It would sort of change how you're going to do the process of making it. If you were going to do one on laminating, if you are going to laminate one, you would need to put down a piece of construction paper, um, and then with a glue stick or something, put your pictures on it. You'll see what I mean when we do ours with contact paper. Because contact paper is so sticky, we can just stick the pictures right onto the contact paper and they will stay. Mm -hmm. Makes it tricky to work with. Contact paper sometimes sticks and you know, so I don't know, it's part of the challenge, part of the fun. And also what's sort of fun is we're going to make it so that the pictures are face down so we really don't get to see our finished product till the end and that also makes it kind of exciting too. Now there's all kinds of stuff that you can put on your placemat. Um, I was looking online at other placemats ideas and you could do that too. But you've seen placemats that you buy at craft stores or I guess school stores that have the presidents on them, have the states on them, just information, numbers, stuff like that. You could do a Catholic version of that if you like. You could put the seven sacraments, you could put the works of mercy, you could put different prayers that you wanted to memorize. Um, you could also have each kid make their own placemat and they could put pictures that they like, their favorite things. They could cut out pictures of dogs and cats or other animals or, or trucks or wherever they wanted and, and put on their placemat. You could do one that's individualized. You could put one, um, make a placemat that shows um, how to set the table with the plate and the <laughs> fork and the knife and where the napkin goes. So there's lots of ideas. For our so today, I wanted to start saying this prayer at the end of our meals, and it is the God Made Us a Family Prayer. You can look it up online. I've also included a PDF download of this if you wanted to use this even for something besides just a placemat or something like that. But at one time we had said this at the end of our dinner and we had kind of quit that habit, so I wanted to start really saying it again. That. So that's what sort of started the idea of let's make placemats so this is on on everybody's placemats so they can read this prayer at the end of our meal. And the other thing I wanted to put on our placemats is I've cut out little <laughs> bubbles okay. of different things. What does your say, Esther? What were you most proud of today? This says, who do you wish was eating dinner with us today? What else do we have? Um, did you see someone be kind to someone else today? So these are positive. What kind of, it's, wait, what's this one again? This is, oh, <laughs> this is what kind of exercise did you do today? <laughs> what is some, what is someone, <laughs> what is one way, you saw God working today. All right, so you get the idea. So we're going to have just conversation starters on our placemat so that when we're at dinner, um, you know, we'll pick one that everyone can answer or we'll make people pick one from their own placemat. All right, so let's go. Oh, we didn't say that, what, we didn't say what you need for this craft. What do we need? We need stuff to decorate stuff to decorate and word and the prayer yeah and brown background yeah i'm using the brown paper i cut out brown paper from bags actually for our background i don't like that though and you can make oh i'm sorry <laughs> but i didn't want it to be too crazy in our dining room but you can make it wild or whatever or you can make it yeah you can make it pretty like um to Princess match your pretty. decor or whatever All right so, and our contact paper. So the first thing we're going to do is put our contact paper down. Now, you have to peel it off. Go I, ahead. Without letting I, it get any crinkles in it. So go ahead. I, that one had a peel. Yeah, that's 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 how you get it started. Yeah. yeah, the hardest part is finding where to peel. So go ahead, pull that off. Ta-da! <laughs> it's very sticky. <laughs> very sticky. Stick, stick, stick. Sticky. Now, if you want to, have, and you're having little kids do this, you might want to just tape a little bit of the corners. Don't tape it down too much though, because you have to remove it and you're going to need that sticky part. So I'm just going to put a little bit of stick tape on the corners to hold it down. It's going to be nice. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. And I'm putting it on just the very corner so we can easily take that off. I feel like this is like on Put that on that corner? Yeah, that stuff underneath it looks mm -hmm. going to distract us. So of course, mm -hmm. Mom. 
So we're good, nice and tight. All right, so um, the prayer is going to go on first. Okay. So we're Which side this? do you want the prayer to go on? I like this side. Okay, yeah. hey, don't make it go upside down. This is the top here. So we'll make it so it sort of faces us. And you want to make it sort of straight. <laughs> Once it's down, it's down. And then I think we should put like five or six of these things on, maybe. Um, I like this one. We just want to make sure we repeat any. Um, and if they're upside down, that's okay. You want to try to make them the right side up. So what are you? Oh, well, that works. I didn't mean to do that. And this one here? No. Is that the same as that one? Do you see some of the kind? Yeah, what is one way? Okay, put that one out, put this one over here. You want to put that in the middle? Beautiful. And then um, we have decorations that I actually cut. cut out from wrapping paper. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted some kind of colors, some creative way to put color on here without. You could use um, glitter. Glitter would be pretty. If you had different paper, you could use washi tape, whatever. I kind of wanted to stick with the, the some basic colors, and that's one reason why I went with the, the wrapping paper idea. Ooh, what about these? These are just plain paper. You want some just plain Whoa. paper? You want some just plain paper to go down? I want this to be like a different sheet, though. Well, if you want a different sheet, go ahead and cut the paper out. Wait a minute, because you'll get a wrinkle in if you're not careful. Go ahead and hold that corner there. Oh, wow. Let me do this corner. All right, let me do, um, no, we don't want any wrinkles on it, so we're going to get a wrinkle. Or a crinkle. But if you get a crinkle, that's okay. This is the back, so it doesn't matter too much. Oh, here, are we. Go ahead, unroll that, maybe. We're not very good at this, are we? Nope. We don't have enough contact paper experience. Ta-da! Yay! We got one little crinkle in you. it. See it right over here, but it's okay. All right, so you want the bottom corner? Put the bottom corner. And then we're going to line it up. Don't put it down until I say. Keep it nice and tight. Go over exactly where it goes. It's supposed to be. Don't put it down yet. Is, is your tight enough? Okay. okay, put yours down then. Line it up perfectly. All right, good job. No, no I, didn't, I didn't get it perfectly locked. No, it's okay. Well, you want to pick it up and try again? Um, nope. No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> no, you can't. All right, go ahead. Push down this way. And um, let's smooth it down towards me. What? Let me push on the top of the contact paper and smooth it down towards me. I can't. No, that's okay. See? Not bad. Not bad. We weren't even close to being lined up up here. Look. All right. Yay. All right, okay. so we weren't lined up very well, but that's okay because we're going to trim it with scissors and no one will know the difference. Take the tape off. Actually, we can even trim it like round it maybe on this the edges. Place nice. oh, it looks really cool. I like it. You like it? Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right. And just for fun, we're going to have everybody in our family make their own placemats too.